Hey Radiant Souls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, I am an intuitive counselor, author, artist, animal communicator, energy healer, coach, teacher, a lot of things. But the theme with all of them is empowering and emboldening others to connect with their divine radiant light. So if you're new here, welcome. It's so good to see you. If you've been here before, hi, welcome back. It's good to see you too. I wanted to do another quick channeled message today. Um, and I asked for this one to kind of come to me in my dreams last night. So I was dreaming about all of you last night. Uh, the message was, uh, I got this impression of like a fragrance floating in the breeze and it smelled like a rose. And um, I'm given a little behind the scenes of how I pick apart some of these messages too. So I had the fragrance of the rose and I sat with that for a minute when I woke up and said, what did that really mean? That's a kind of a fleeting thing. Find the sweetness in life. Um, summer is coming in the Northern hemisphere at least. Um, bloom where you're planted. We could go a lot of different ways with that. But what it was, was, what it was, was, that's some really good vocabulary there. What it signified for the purposes of our message. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a, a little flashing light that got my attention. I'm basically a crow. I like the shiny things. They distract me. Anyway, the point with the rose was that sometimes when we have goals for ourselves or we have achievements we want to unlock for ourselves, things that we want to do in life. We will sometimes smell the fragrance of it first. Like we get the, the excitement about it. Oh, I want to do this, or I want to be that, or I want to learn this thing. And oh, we get so excited because the fragrance is so enticing and it smells so sweet. And then we wonder where it goes because it's also very fleeting. It doesn't stay along, stay around for a very long time. We need to remember, or it, it's good for us to remember, that you get the sweetness of the rose and you get that fragrance of anything um, that you desire in life after you've tilled the soil, you've planted the bush, you've let it grow, you've nourished it, you've picked the bugs off of it, the pests. How many, how many times have you had like a dream or a goal and you told a couple of people and they maybe are like, Ugh, why would you want to do that? Why is that like this will happen and that'll go wrong and that'll do this um, and it's no good. Like, ew, I wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not asking you to. I'm saying that's my goal. Um, and <laughs> so and who are you to say what would or wouldn't work for me? You're not me. You don't know. You're not here. You're not in here. But how many times do we have those pests? that come and try to devour the plant before it even grows, before it even blossoms. And maybe it's not even somebody else, maybe it's you. Maybe it's um, you haven't developed the right habits to support what you want. You haven't uh, worked through those limiting beliefs. So you think even if, the, even if this rose blooms, it's probably not gonna be very pretty because I don't deserve it, I'm not worthy. So in working through all of that, that is where you get the things to blossom and grow. And it's never, ever, ever without that work. If it is, it's just something temporary and maybe a synchronicity for you, pointing you in a different direction and reaffirming something for you. But anything really meaningful that is going to stay around for a while is going to take that investment of your energy. So that was the reminder that the team wanted to uh, push through today. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you are looking for habits to develop to nourish that plant as it grows, the proverbial rose bush that we're planting, um, I invite you to join my Enlightened Path program. It's coming up June 21st. It's 16 weeks of weekly lessons and video calls. We have 12 of those because we meet for three weeks, take one week off to integrate and to have a break. There's also more channeled messages, a couple of pop-up meetings um, for everybody in the program. And there are such amazing people that have joined already. I know if you feel called, you'll have a great time in there with this group. So I invite you to that. That's where we're learning to integrate and embody 
and develop the habits for ourselves to bring those things through that we wanna plant into this world. So I think this was a timely message for a couple of reasons because it's something that's around in my atmosphere, uh, but it's also something that I wanted to share with all of you. So fragrance of the rose, planting, doing the work. Re and they were very specific about the removing the pests part. So that's why I got I dove into that a little bit with your own thoughts or the, the objections and beliefs of others. Pick them off like they're little aphids on your rose bush. And um, that's it for today. So I hope you found that helpful. I will see you again soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.